Hello guys, and today we are here with the uh, Stormworks SpaceX Starship. thought this was a pretty cool one to check out. It's been around for a while, so not sure if other people have reviewed this, but I thought I'd check it out today. So there's this little drivey car you can take it out on the runway with. You pull out of the hangar. Surprisingly, this fits in the regular hangar. So what you do is you just press the deploy Starship, make sure your brakes on and you don't need any reverse or gate. So it goes up like that. Pretty crazy how that works. And just kind of like deploys it on the ground like that. So now we have to get inside. There's a hatch thing here. It's pretty cool, it lowers down on the ground and lets you in. Then you shut the hatch and we are calling the elevator, which is pretty cool. So we gotta go Elevator all the way up to the uh, bridge. Alright. Uh, emergency exit. We don't need that. Hopefully we never need it. Uh, there's a pool table there. It's pretty cool. Um, we gotta get to the... Here it is. So this is the commander seats. So what we can do is... Go to the nav lights. Uh... APU, wait, not yet, because we don't have coordinates. Uh, let's go to, uh, wait, I gotta reveal the map first. Um, reveal the map, unlock all islands, reveal the map. All right, so now we got the map revealed. Let's fly out to uh, O'Neill Air Base. Gotta get those exact coordinates so we don't accidentally hit something. And let's, Punch those coordinates in. Uh, we got everything was looking good. APU on. Uh, entrance hatch is shut like it should be. Uh, everything's looking good. So launch. Launch confirming. There we go. We are now launching. So the rocket is now taking off. Whoa, that's actually really cool. So we are now flying up. We are gonna go on a 15 kilometer flight, which is pretty cool. Looks like though there isn't a uh, very uh, nice uh, access to the, ooh, it's getting uh, cold in here. There's the heaters. Uh, so that's the heater right there. We need to know where that is. The button to turn it on is right here. And you can enable a uh, microphone, stuff like that. So this thing is really fast. I guess since it's a spaceship, it have to be. But it's it's almost at our destination. And you've barely even like, you know, done that. Like it's pretty fast for a spaceship. I mean, it's gotta like break out of Earth's gravitational pull and stuff like that. So, you know, it's gotta be pretty fast. And we probably, I wanna see this thing land. I think that's gonna be really cool to see. Cause I know these things, they autonomously land. So like, I'm not controlling anything right now. Like it's just following the GPS inputs that I did. So it looks like basically all that's like between us and the, the base is some ground pretty much. So like half of that kilometer space is just it needing to go down now. Yep, look, there it goes. It's going up. Now it's descending. Kind of scary that it does that, but whatever. It's a little freaky. So let's see, can we walk around the ship right now? Appears we can. RGB lights. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You can make it all reddish color. It's pretty cool. Turn up the speed. It's like a disco up in the crew cabin. Uh, we got rooms in here. Pretty nice interior. You can turn on the lights. Have a heater. You can lock the door so people can't barge in and stuff like that. There's multiple, basically the same type of room. There's a little TV here. You need a 
a radio signal from the camera that I actually see anything. This is our private room here. And before we do the rest of the interior review, we should probably check. Yep, we're coming in hot. So, yep, it's starting the engines and we are coming in hot for the landing. Alright, we almost landed. Landed right on the waypoint dot. That's pretty cool. That was a perfect landing. So now let's continue checking out the interior after we uh, saw that flight. The flight was really cool. I highly recommend checking this out. I'll try to remember to put a link to the description. Uh, there's an unlock emergency exit. I'm not deploying that yet. We'll do that uh, last. Uh, there's health room in there. Medical room actually. Got some defibrillators and aid kits. Then down here is like a room of stuff. This might have been maybe for the weapons DLC. It's, there is no weapons. I don't know what activate chair means. Notice this seat does absolutely nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, uh, maybe it's like to like you just kind of like sit on a wheel. Oh, is this like a massage chair? That's probably what it is. Alright. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Nope. This chair does absolutely nothing. Okay. Uh, nice big picture of Elon Musk there. Nice little reference to the man that designed this in real life. Now I can go down to the ground. I thought there was a little more to this, but, you know, nothing nothing too big. I guess that's all fuel in there, so you could make like a trip to like the Arctic area or something like that. Whatever you decide to do. That's why I thought like there was like a ton of floors in this, but it's really just because uh, there's so much fuel in this thing, probably. Maybe if I took the free camera in, you could see. Let's see. Free camera. Yeah, that's that's all fuel, probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all fuel, so... Can't really see fuel in the free camera, but... I guarantee that that's fuel. Because we literally only used... We used, like, th like 2% two, two of our fuel. So, we could make that journey, like, 100 more times before we ran out of fuel. We also have plenty of electric... So, yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see more Stormworks content, then uh, give me a like. And a, if you want to see more videos, then subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.